Hey guys, this is episode five of Teen Mom Trash Talk, and I'm comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by the lovely Noelle Winters. Hey. And the beautiful Gabrielle Fragala. Hi. We're here to discuss season eight of Teen Mom 2, episodes three, four, and five. Guys, how was your week? Uh, pretty good, you know, uneventful. Really? Yeah. Noelle, your birthday's coming up. My birthday is Thursday. Amazing. Big Exciting. three, six. Oh my God, oh you're so boy. old. I know, I'm the oldest. You could so be a young. teen mom great grandma. You can. I Yeah. Yeah, I really can, actually. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And you but have no children. No, my sister was a teen mom, though. Really? Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. She so, uh teen mom, two babies. Uh, two, two baby daddies. Two baby daddies. Well, because they live in... I don't want to pencil Tucky. Right. They, they live in Kentucky, <laughs> like straight up Kentucky. Yeah, wow. they do. I mean, that's, that's the thing there. How many you know? years ago was this? Why wasn't she auditioned for the show? I mean, she, could how old was she when she got, no, she was like, she was married though. Uh, yeah, that's not as fun. <laughs> it isn't as fun. I don't remember. I think, no, I, she was like 18 or 19. 18. But yeah, oh, but it wasn't not, like, yeah, it's not like, whoa, like 15, it wasn't a low 16. Teens. It's she like seen the first baby now. Oh man, he's good now though. He's he out. actually is really good. He's been now. sober for twenty months, according to Facebook, because yeah. I'm still friends the with him fr- on Facebook. Baby daddy number one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, number one. He okay. actually he looks good. He looks normal. I mean, he normal. Looks better. He looks normal. Better. Yeah. No, he looks better. I mean, the second one you're still friends with, he deleted me. <laughs> yeah, they don't delete me because I'm like under the radar because they're like, who is this yeah. following me? Yeah, I'm gonna need to see a photo at some point. Uh, so. You're okay. gonna see all the photos. Don't all you worry the about photos. It. You're gonna see more photos than you want to see. Uh, <laughs> Gabrielle, how was your week? It was good. It was good. What did you was, do? It um, was not much. No? It's only Tuesday. You finished school? I finished school. That's amazing. Yeah. You got What did you get on your uh, in your class? I got a B plus. Amazing. Uh, awesome. I mean, it's not the A I wanted, but it'll yeah, do. Yeah, but that was a hard class, anatomy and... Physiology. Yeah, I can't even say it. That's yeah, how hard I don't it is. even know what that is. Bones. <laughs> bones. That's what happened. I cool. bought a skeleton. She That's bought a happened. skeleton on Amazon to learn the bones and yeah. then returned That's it. That's pretty interesting, though. I wish I looked closer to you. I would play with you all the time. <laughs> would you? Well, I would be like, I'm coming over to play skeletons. <laughs> well, I <it's laughs> it, so. <laughs> bought her one on Amazon on 129, free prime shipping. <laughs> <laughs> and she returned it after the class. I did. Amazing. I've taught her well. I was going to say, you taught her well. I don't return anything. I return everything. I dabble. I can't even tell you what I returned this week. Uh, <laughs> I'm working on a new podcast podcast it's called neurotica with justin silver and it's basically uh our tagline is uh dirty talk with a side of mental illness so we talk about ocd and our relationships and all of our neurotic tendencies so it's a fun little podcast if you guys want to take a listen we're on itunes uh and yeah that makes me me feel like i found my people yeah yeah oh my god we're yeah. getting so many people saying like this is the podcast about me yeah that's this, like amazing. i have found my people because i obsessively wash my hands like probably i kid you not 45 times a day at least um like i have no skin in between my oh, wow. my fingers pretty bad and um i have really weird sex oh so. yeah no that's basically uh, so justin yeah. uh my partner on the podcast my co-host he used to count things with the tip of his thumb Okay. He used to not count. uh, He used to measure everything with the tip of his thumb. Okay. Because his mom once told him that it was an inch. The the first knuckle of your thumb is an inch. My mom says that too. Yeah. Well, he got a little bit. Even says that. I think it's is my thing. mom the only one who didn't tell me this? I think it's a thing. Yeah, I think it's a thing. I think it's true. Oh, man. I, I, I just found out. I mean, I don't think it's true. I think it's true-ish. For Ish. some thumbs, it's true. I mean, true. unless you have like a freakishly large thumb. Well, that's like, like your foot I mean, is a foot, right? I have the longest fingers, so this is definitely not. Mm, that's probably like a yeah. This is like a inches. half an inch. I remember oh, when my friend Robbie inches. moved into his apartment, we didn't bring a measuring tape, and he needed to know how big the... Uh, the rooms were so we measured in tracy feet oh and i walked and then we we said like you know it's 14 tracy feet and then we measured my foot afterwards i measure Mm -hmm. with my feet a lot when you do real estate um Mm -hmm. no if i like park too close to a hydrant i'm like okay how many gabrielle feet am i away from and do you use that as a defense if you get a ticket you're like uh excuse me i was 14 gabrielle feet away i don't think so honestly i haven't gotten a ticket yet so my foot might be larger than expected my foot is gigantic i would never get a ticket (laughs) that's a good little yeah so i mean you could measure so these are the kind of things you could hear on neurotica you could uh follow us on instagram neurotica pod you could like us on facebook neurotica pod guess what twitter neurotica pod shocking wow, amazing Very creative all right well <laughs> let's get into this uh so episode three was called low key 
And this was last week's episode. This was last Monday. There was a double header. There was a double header. It was a double. A I surprise. Had no, I not had even no a back idea to back. Which that it was weird. a double. It header. wasn't back to back. No, no, I don't know. It was Teen Mom at nine. The new show Siesta, Siesta Key. Key at ten. What's Siesta Key? It's like a reality show. Honestly, it's like a knockoff. It's like a Laguna knockoff Beach. Hills Laguna, Laguna Beach, Beach, which I love. So obviously, I'm gonna. Watch. Obviously, Laguna I'm Beach. watching it. We did. We went to Laguna. We did. We stayed at a fun hotel in that area. We I did. Remember? <laughs> yeah, it was like a cute little hotel. I think I blocked cool. it out. Yeah, yeah, I think you did. I definitely blocked you definitely it out. Definitely did. Um, so we find out that Kale is finally admitting she's pregnant. Yeah, because we knew. We, we knew well, this because we know she everything. She belongs in a cave. <laughs> we know everything. <laughs> that's what Javi said to her, right? That what that's what Joe. Oh, Joe said to her a long time ago. Just, yeah. I mean, that's the damn truth. That is the best thing. He said, you don't deserve to be happy. You deserve to be in a cave. Yeah. You don't, you don't deserve. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Uh, you don't deserve to be in the sun. You belong in a cave. <laughs> and this is why, like, I would, like, really have relations with Joe. Joe's awesome. Like so, that. uh... I don't know if you guys know this, but our friend, uh, friend of the podcast and friend in real life, Joanna Ragone, she had a friend, I think, if I'm telling the story wrong, Joanna, correct me on the group, uh, Tracy's Teen Mom talk, Trash Talk, but I believe that she had a friend uh, maybe in the Pennsylvania area who one day had to get their printer service at an office, mm -hmm. and Joe was the one who showed up. Oh. To oh, service really? the printer. Yeah. Joanna, am I telling the story right? I don't know. Oh, or that's right. That's what he used to do for a living. Yeah, I think it was yeah. to serve. Or maybe or they were copy just, machines. Maybe it was a copy machine. Yes, I believe Ooh. it was something like that in the in the Pennsylvania area. Joe is hilarious. Joe is so funny. When he said to Kale, when they were having a conversation on the couch, that when she said, I'm afraid Javi's going to want to sell it. Oh, my God. And he said, the baby? Like that was, that was so funny. That was the best. Was and she's like, like no, the story. This I don't know amazing. how she doesn't like bust out laughing. Like nothing I I tickles her pickle. Nope. Like nothing. The only thing that tickles her pickle is when uh, she knows she gets caught in a lie or something. And then she gets a nervous giggle. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really it. like when she almost gets murdered by one of her baby daddies. One then of she's them. she's like, okay, this is pretty funny. I'm glad that at least nobody thinks this is a good idea because like Joe V, like everybody's like, V is, is like, how thinking? am I going to defend someone that i don't agree with right she's right and she's, she's like so i don't want her to, uh, she, why is she so pretty she's so pretty her face she's, is perfect that's why joe's dick has to be big yeah because it, like it has to he's terrible he's looking. terrible because she, i mean come on it's not even comparison he's the worst i wonder if anyone has ever she's the like, beyonce like do we know because i feel like they lived in allentown right which wasn't far from us is that where they were from yeah but then they moved to jersey v's from jersey Mm -hmm. So I feel like we have to, we're from New York City. We have to know someone who slept with Joe. Or 100%. Knows, or knows. Okay. Or know someone. I think, Gabrielle, yeah. you'd be probably be closer in age. Um, I don't probably. even know how old these people are. I don't even know. Are. What are yeah. they, 25, 26? I don't even. Well, do you remember Leah was like someone in, uh, someone in my class was like, oh, they're 25. You remember? Right. Yeah. What did she say? Right, right, she's right. like, no, there were older people in my class. She was there 25. There was somebody who was even like 25. And so like, how oh, old are cool. they? Well, they were 16 when they were pregnant. Their kids are like seven. Who could do math like that? Not me. Uh, um, I guess that's 23. Okay. So there you go. They're okay. about 23. I mean, I, f but I feel like they're so old. Like their vaginas are so old. Their vaginas are so old. Well, we know Brianna's is because she needed labiaplasty twice. I bet Kale's looks like roast beef. Yeah, but I think Kale's looked like roast beef before. They're all 25, by the way. I just looked it up. Okay, good. Kale looks like she got hit in the face with a fucking shovel. She does. She looks like her father. She's terrible. Yeah, she, she looks like her meat hoarding father. <laughs> her, the misery, <laughs> bitterness in her is coming through her skin on her yeah, face. Yeah. It's bad. It's yeah. bad. She should stop having kids, I think. I mean, you would think. I think this is it. Or stop, like, trapping guy. Like, she definitely trapped this That was guy. the weirdest conversation that she had. Because it house. wasn't true. Yeah. She was like he uh it's like were you trying to have a baby and it's like well he knew i wanted a baby right it's like okay right. but what she's like well he was pulling out and i was like and right. joe was like and she's like he's a big boy he but i couldn't pull out. i i was told i couldn't have kids right what are you talking about you the, you were not told that you know you weren't told that like it wasn't even just yeah. you told him that i would have to go through in vitro fertilization not true 
I mean, she literally got pregnant like the day she divorced Javi. Right. Or. That, well, that's why. Like, listen, I, I believe when she says like nobody really knows the real Javi because Javi's definitely a psycho. You I think he's a crazy person. Tell, I think he's crazy. But I've seen I him. would murder him if I. I mean, I would murder her if I was him, though, too. I mean, somebody like her is terrible for someone like him yeah oh they're they're because horrible. he's a loose cannon and she is a sociopath she's yeah she's a she's, she's yeah. a in what's an instigator yeah mm-hmm. she totally knows exactly what buttons to push with him well you know i mean she didn't get along with joe for a long time and i think joe seems so easygoing on no but joe was kind of a dick i too. think so. joe was a dick i think that they just couldn't get over each other honestly for a long yeah, time until they were- he met v Guys, they were little kids. I always forget this. They were little I kids living in the same house. Kaylin, while she's like, just gave birth, fresh out of the oven to Isaac, is dating Jordan from, where did they work? Models? Staples? Something, Something where you wear red. Target? Yeah. I don't red. know. I think it was Models. I don't know what it was. I don't but know. Isaac is hilarious, too. Mm-hmm. Isaac inherited you know, his father's No, that would make so humor. much more sense if it was Models, because I always thought it was like uh staples always and i feel like models is so much more suiting i think it was Modell because, because jordan was like super into like sports yes. and he got jordan's for isaac for christmas get it and, uh-huh. oh get it yeah <clears throat> i just licked the microphone in case anybody was wondering whatever happened to jordan or i don't, don't know. know but i bet we could find him like on ig i think i did find him on instagram um I don't remember if I cared enough to look, but we're going to have to we're dig have a little to, That deeper. would be like finding like Macy's ex. Like I would down syndrome. Oh my what God. He was. Oh my God. Was it Corey? Kyle. 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 Yeah. He was horrible looking. Oh horrible. He, he looked like he got hit in the face with a shovel. Yeah. He was just, I mean, he looks like good. his face just never formed from the womb. Yeah. He did. He looked like a giant fetus. Yeah. <laughs> that was awful. He was horrible. He looking. was horrible. But wasn't he like ripped or something? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, mean, I don't care how just... ripped you are. I don't really care. No, I, I no. could care less. All right. So then we have Brianna. Um, I'm sorry, but I got to tell you, it's hard for me to take her seriously right. when she walks around in these sweatpants with this fake junk in her trunk. Right. Oh I'm like, are they stuffing toilet paper into their sweatpants? Like, I can't. I'm not trying to, like, shame them for the plastic surgery, but it looks silly. It does look silly. Oh, my God. It uh, it looks like she's wearing a diaper. That's exactly what it looks like. It looks terrible. It It looks like like the woman I take care of. Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Noelle takes care of an elderly woman that wears diapers, by the way. Yes, in case anybody's wondering. I feel... So this morning, um, I don't want to say where we shared a picture from, but it was from Instagram, and you and I and Gabrielle on our group chat, Mm -hmm. I found a picture of a girl that got her lips done, Mm -hmm. and it looked Mm -hmm. like um, someone took a shit Mm -hmm. and then glued it to someone's face. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is wrong with these people? I don't understand. I don't know. The I bad plastic know. surgery just baffles me. Good plastic surgery I can totally get behind. I, I It's just not for me. I love natural. I love natural people. No, I like, do too. But at the same time, like, I could appreciate a good boob job. No, I I just feel like I don't see the point in two, like, plastic balls. I feel like it's too much. I feel like she got too no, much no, but done that's at what I'm one saying. time. When you get a really good boob job, right. it doesn't look like well, two plastic Brianna's balls. Well, Brianna's also your... pretty. She's a really pretty yeah. girl. She didn't like, need the plastic surgery. She looks like... Uh, she might have needed the labiaplasty. We don't know. <laughs> well, we're not sure about that, but... <laughs> she might need the second one, too. Yeah. But no, she looks like she shit her pants. Or she looks like she's in some kind of play where she's playing like but an so old lady. Yeah, yeah. They, they look terrible. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It, that was Dr. Miami, right? Yeah. Dr. Miami. He's never going to do anything with us because we talk shit about him. He He's never going to. But I want some, uh, what do I want? Microblading on my eyes. That's not. The, that's that's not, not. No, but I'm surgery. saying like anybody out there needs some microblading. What would you do if if I gave you a gift certificate for your upcoming birthday mm-hmm. uh, to Dr. Miami? Mm-hmm. What would you get done? But not microblading because I don't think he does that. Because here's the thing, right? Like I have no ass and I think it would be awesome to have one. Right. But I don't want to look like I'm wearing a diaper. So also. you would get a little tiny baby butt? So, yeah, I would probably get like a little tiny baby butt. Um, I don't really want anything done on my face. I don't need like a nose no, job or anything no. like that. Um, I would love my feet to be smaller. But, I mean, don't they like break your feet and take like some of the bones out or something? Oh, Do that. No, well, no, no, well. What, what's wrong I don't want a boob job. I really okay. don't want no, a boob I know, job. I'm not, I didn't say oh, I had a boob job. Oh, I was just God. terrified. No, Tracy always wanted a boob I job. I do want a boob job. Yeah. 
I do. So she's like pro boob job, and I, I was like always never wanting a boob job. I feel like I have enough meat on me that I could cover the fact that they're super fake looking. I I think that you would look good with a boob job. Thank you. Soon, soon, soon. Gabrielle, what would you get done? My nose. What would you get done to it? Total nose job. I don't know. I'd probably what get like those. You get done those new it? injections that I, have, I think like, you I should have try. A, I have a dorsal hump. What's an injection? I don't even know what. These okay, are. so you know how the fillers that I got under my eyes. Yeah. For Harper's Bazaar, I didn't do it on my own. Also, you you look great under your eyes. Thank you so much. They could have put a little bit more filler. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. To um, but they do a little bit of filler, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like right under. If you have a little bump in your nose, mm-hmm. and it right fills there. in the bump. And then it makes your nose straighter. Oh, yeah. And I got to tell you, Gabrielle, I think you should fucking try it because you know why? Not that I think there's anything wrong with your nose, but if you want to, it's literally the most painless injection ever. Really? But it only lasts like six months. That's interesting. I know. I but yeah, try it. I think that, you know, let I me might, know after you, it. after you uh, finish all your prereqs for grad school, maybe I'll let you do it. Oh, maybe you'll let me I do it. I want the opposite of liposuction. I want someone to put everything inside. Where would you want me to put it? Like in my <laughs> hips, my thighs, my ass, my upper arms. Your just, upper arms? Your upper arms. Just oh not my, my stomach. What is wrong I with have you? Never, I was so skinny. You've never no, heard I anybody never say that, right? No, no, no. no, no I, have, I have skin. I have skin. You want to just fill up the skin? Yeah. You know that you can put muscles in there, right? Yeah, I, like I know. Tone, Mass is right? the same thing. Tone. You want fat injected <laughs> into your <laughs> upper arms. So they just get fatter. Uh-huh. I weigh 108 pounds. I would like to be like 30 pounds heavier. Okay. Can I just happy. tell you a story? Just eat. What? Okay. So <laughs> if, <Just> you, eat. <laughs> if you got uh, injected right. with fat into your upper arms, right. you would be a slim woman. <laughs> with, with fat arms. With fat arms. You would look yeah. like me when I was thinner. <laughs> That's true. Why would you want that? It's true. The The greatest part about your body is that you don't have the fat on it. So when you build the muscle, right. it will actually fill out the You're rest of your arm. You're going to look like a, like a yeah. body. I com- would like to meter. have meatier thighs, though, too. Yeah, but you could do that all in the gym. I guess. But well, like, who like the gym wants with me. to? I do. Gabrielle loves the gym. I love the gym. <clears throat> My brother-in-law is a personal trainer. You would think. This bitch is in the gym. She brought me to the gym. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what happened, uh, but I'm gonna because this is what we do for podcast <laughs> ratings. <laughs> okay, so you know the thing where they used to do it in The Biggest Loser all the time where you jump on the block? Like a box. You yes. jump, okay? It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> this uh-huh. bitch has me jumping on the box. <sighs> but there's a sound. <laughs> But there's a sound. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? There's a very loud sound throughout the gym every time I jump on the box because it's belly fat. It's belly fat flopping. (laughs) Noelle just started sweating from her head. I just saw the sweat start forming. There was a bead of sweat on her forehead. She's choking right now on an Altoid. Mm -hmm. (laughs) This is what happens. And she's like, no, keep going. And I'm like, Gabrielle, the belly flop is very loud. <laughs> oh like, the whole God. gym can hear it. She's, She's like, like, no one could notice. Those things are high to jump on, too. Super high. Yeah. Okay, I didn't give her a super high one. Uh, it was very high to me. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I actually did the same exercise with um, my brother's <laughs> my brother's girlfriend, Andrea. Shout uh-huh. out to Andrea. She Shout out to Tim. Hey. She gave, yeah, she gave us our, the name of our podcast. She did. I can't wait to have her on. I know. It's very exciting. She, I has, brought, she loves seltzer, too. You guys she went does. seltzer we went, shop. We went seltzer shopping. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> she, I brought her to the gym, and we did the box. Such jumps. exciting lives we have. Yeah, box jump, seltzer. And she was just as Belly intimidated, fat. so don't feel bad, Tracy. She didn't like box jumps. Wanting either. upper arm fat. She like, should only I? know the sound heard around the gym. Is it something <laughs> like that? Okay, do you think it's that hard? Noelle's sho- okay, so Noelle's showing us a video of... Is this your boyfriend? Yeah. Your of fiance? Matt attempting? Matt is trying to jump on a box. It. Right. He's But at first he falls. But it's so high. He's trying to jump on the highest box. Oh, that's so funny when he falls down. Yeah. Can you post that on our teen mom? Of course I trash can. Trash talk Instagram. Caption, fall once, get up and try I, You know, <laughs> I have his brother doing it too, I think. Oh my God. He falls. Yeah. Violently. Violently. Yeah. I thought that was pretty awesome that he posted it of him falling, yeah. too. Yeah, because I like that he actually does it after that. Right. But I think it's so funny that he fell. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're going to post it on the Teen Mom Trash that Talk right now. That needs to be on, like, gym, uh, the gym fails IG. <laughs> but also it needs to be a meme. Like, right. 
Right. Matt's going to be the most famous meme this ever. This is how my life is going right now. <laughs> You're going to marry going. that guy who just falls at the gym like a loser. <laughs> it's all right. Someone dates I me and I belly him. flap. So <laughs> the belly flap heard around the gym. Anyway, guys. Uh, okay. So Brianna is still talking about adoption. She needs to get over Yawn. it. Yawn. She doesn't mean it. Okay, wait. That's the thing. She doesn't mean it. She just wants him to be like, okay, I'll be with you and I'll be with you forever. And Shock I'll be the value. best and co-parent. She, and right. the fact that she exes her daughter and says, if I keep this baby, you need to help me. Like, do you oh, want yeah. me and to then give she's the like, baby away? Would, would you she's be, like, no. Would you be mad right. if, would you understand if we gave the baby to a, people that actually want it? Right. I was like, what? When this baby grows up and watches teen mom she's gonna be like wow like mom you didn't want me how about the girl like nova's getting all fucked up she's like a a big part of the decision making process like why is this this is an adult conversation this is the problem with this family right they overshare i agree they they have a, like a, we've said before they have a very strange dynamic in don't they general. all sleep in one bed i was gonna say do, do they because their apartment looks that. so tiny it does look tiny and they just sit in the living room they just sit in this like, like at a snack table do they have yep. jobs or no that's probably Any why they got back into teen mom too though you know what was cute though when nova and Brittany were doing the water thing oh like, yeah that, like, was, oh, that, was, that cute. was cute i mean that she was, was teaching sweet. how to do a kickstand but that's her kind of. basically <laughs> they, she was well, teaching her you know that was that was fun that was cute it was a cute little moment she was teaching her how to play slap the bag did you ever play that with the bag of wine am i alone on this yeah oh you got to chug from the bag of wine never mind okay never mind maybe someone else did maybe someone else went to college okay (laughs) i definitely did not yeah no i just i feel like they overshare way too much Mm -hmm. i think that yeah the sister what's her name Brittany? Brittany. Brittany 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 is super sweet to Nova and uh, you know it's really nice but at the same time they talk so much about everything you know in front of her if you know Devon isn't going to show up, stop telling the kid that he's going to show up. Right. And then just let it be a surprise if he shows up. Also, don't be like your father's still name. not here. It's right. It's been six right. hours. This is wasting my time and your time. I don't Nova. like that. Don't talk shit about the parents. She does because she's giving that kid a little complex. And you know I felt really bad. No, about everybody really always has Nova. one parent they like better. I get it. I don't know and what you mean. <sighs> I think everybody has one parent they like better. But you don't like. And, and and the other parent always knows it, but they don't usually talk shit. Right, about just like the other every one. parent has a ki- kid they love more. Always, you're not the one. They like I know, I'm Tracy. not the one. Gabrielle, are you the one? <laughs> no. Noelle, you're the only I, child, I'm and you're not even the one. Go, I know, right? <laughs> you know what? That's the damn truth. Too. No, with your father, you would. Well, yeah, but my my mom, my stepsister, I feel like is is. No, I feel like just George winner, is winner, her favorite child. Dinner. I feel like her husband George is her favorite child. That's true. That's true. Yeah, she well, I can't wait for her to listen to this. What up, Andrea? Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, all right. So Addie's birthday party. We saw. Um, so Jeremy had a birthday party for Addie at the pool, which was weird. It was okay. Really weird. Can I tell you what I thought about this? Yes. <laughs> this is how yes. crazy I am. Okay. All okay. right. So I'm watching this, and you know he has a party. First of all, it's winter. Yeah. And there, was a par- yeah. It was a pool yeah, party, yeah. an indoor pool. Right. Ugh, My OCD. Germs. I know was going wild. Okay. So first of all, it looked like they first had pizza and cake mm-hmm. and then right. went swimming. Cause right. that's exactly what happened. Right. Would you be brave enough nope. Nope. to watch a few children? I nope. mean, there was a handful of children there eat cake and pizza and then wildly play in a pool. No, I wouldn't be brave enough. You know how much throw up pizza would be I in can't. that pool? I can't stop. I can't. I would die. I mean, I mean, I would. Honest. I wouldn't mind that. Tracy used to have pizza with milk when she was little at Jenny's house. Oh, so, stop! <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day because my mom, uh, Jenny, was like a childhood friend, and our mothers were shout out Jenny. We love you. Hi, Jenny. Our mothers were friends, and me and Jenny used to play. And mm-hmm. my mother recently told me that Jenny's pregnant now. Yes, and she works in. Uh, she works with her mother. Actually, they're working uh, in a summer camp, and one of the kids was sick and Jenny was terrified. and was like, what do you mean he's sick? What is he sick with? Right. And my mother uh, and Jojo kind of her mother and really? my mother had a moment where we're both crazy. Right. Me and Jenny have grown up to both be crazy people to, to be, to be OCD. OCD. And listen, I want to know why a kid is sick. I want to know. What do you mean everything. you're sick? Do you have a headache? Right. Why do you have a headache? Right. Do you have right. uh, a toe ache? Right. 
I need to know everything. Even when my boyfriend is like, he'll be like, I don't feel good. And I'm like, what's what wrong? Do you I feel? need to know everything. And what he's like, feel? I just don't feel good. And I'm like, but what part of you is and the And you're like, can you part? go live with your mom? Right. <laughs> and I tell him all the time, like, what happens when you get like a stomach virus? Because you can't live here when you get that. Right. Like for a long time. He's like, I'm just going to go to my parents' house. And I'm like, but you can't even throw up in the house. It's like, where are you going to go? He's like, what are you going to do when we have kids? And I'm like, get a nanny, move out. Move out. You know, they're going to I'm going to give them to the nearest fire Gabrielle's station. Gabrielle's going to move in. Gonna, you know, <laughs> Gabrielle's I'm gonna, not going to say it because I'm going to get in trouble. You know what she's going to do. She's talk, <laughs> We're talking about this sickness and Gabrielle's just like, how can I kiss those kids in the pool on the mouth? <laughs> she's just trying. She's like, am I in the pool when I'm kissing them? Am I kissing them as they get out of the pool? <laughs> How am I going to kiss little babies on the mouth? I'm more worried about catching a disease from the pool than the baby this mouth. This is true. This is true. But I feel like the chlorine. Where do you it. think the germs come from, Gabrielle? I don't know. Tracy. They come from those disgusting I little monsters. That Everyone that pool. listens to this that has children, yeah. I think will agree with us. That yeah. c- children are disgusting yeah. incubators of germs. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, they leak everywhere. But I can tell you this. So Addie, Jeremy had the party for Addie. Yes. Right. And then uh, Leah had a party for Addie afterwards. Right. And she didn't want to leave the party. And they're they're making it like such a big deal. And I got to tell you, I think the problem is that Addie doesn't want to leave Jeremy is because I feel like she doesn't know when she's going to see him again. But that's exactly exactly what it is. And Jeremy's kind of trying to peg it on Leah and say like, oh, like he's the better parent. Yeah. Like, I don't know. He doesn't want to. She doesn't want to go with you. I don't know what to tell you. Right. And it's like, no, because Leah, she knows is always going to be there. Right. She freaks out that Jeremy is kind of like a fly by night kind of guy. Well, because I feel like she sees him like once a month. Right. And she thinks that the this might be the last time or right. she, or she doesn't really know when time. she's gonna see him poor kid it's really yeah sad. she's all fucked up i feel really bad so she her. they got her to the next party and she did have a good time mm-hmm. she did i think leah's a nice mom i think I, she is i think she's a fine mom i mean whatever i aside from the diet you know with her children she's a fine mom right i mean but they're also in west virginia so like, i mean i guess what i feel like is west virginia really so wait let me ask you a question here? what do you have in front of you can you describe your your little station as you judge uh, Leah's nutrition. <laughs> no, no, tell me. Please describe it. Can I just tell no. everybody that Gabrielle and Tracy just judge me all the time by what I consume? Explain it. So in front of me, I have mm. some ruffles, cheddar, and sour cream uh-huh. chips. Keep going. And I have a Godiva bar that is chocolate. It's a chocolate and cream bar. Mm-hmm, I got it mm-hmm. at 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I also have some peppermint Altoids. Right. And, and a Pepsi Big Gulp. Okay, wait, no, so tell me what was wrong with Leah's, uh, what is she doing? I her mean, kids? I mean, Noel's not eating raw hot dogs. I'm not having soup out of a can. Oh my God, did you guys notice that when she was FaceTiming with Jeremy, she was eating uh, a mini cocktail, Frank? No. I yeah. did. <laughs> she was, I didn't even she notice was that. like, okay, these are kind of things that you uh-huh. only have, like, maybe at a kid's birthday yeah. party. Yeah. Leah was for lunch <laughs> having a little munch of <laughs> cocktail weenie. Do you know that growing up, my dad wouldn't buy them for me? I always wanted them. Right, because he loved you? Right. Well, no, he would get me hot dogs and he would be like, no, get regular hot dogs. And I'm like, but I want the little ones because right. I want pigs in a blanket. And he's like, I'll cut up hot dogs. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't understand why I can't just have the mini ones. Like, is it because they're more expensive? Like, what is it? Not that I said that because I was like five at the time. <laughs> and he's like, and I didn't understand what he meant by it. But he was just like, those make me cross my legs. I feel weird about them. How weird is it? Oh, he thought that so they were little funny. peepees. So he said it always made him think of it with little peepees. Oh, my God. Little, little pee loons. You had to know, Ed. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. my god, it's so funny! I can't talk about cocktail wieners. Wait, can we just go bottom. back to another thing? Um, mm-hmm. When Kaylin was talking about uh, her pregnancy with Joe, she's like, "I'm not a bad mom, though." And then there was like silence, right? And then she was like, "I'm not a bad mom, though." And he's like, "No, you're not a bad mom," but he wasn't like, "You're a great mom," right? And he was, and she's like, "I'm bad at relationships." He's like, "I think you hit the nail on the head with that one, right. or something like right. that." She's just bad at life. She's not good at life, but she, look at her with the tools that she was given. She likes to collect things. You know, she's got so many dogs too, right? Doesn't she have like seven dogs? Does she? I think she has a lot of dogs. Yeah, she has a ton of dogs. Where do they put me? They might put them away when they film. I don't know, but Lincoln is so cute. Maybe he's so cute. He's a genius. When, uh, <laughs> when 
Isaac. Isaac, sorry. Oh, my God. I was just having a brain fart. There's so many children. There's so many children. So I try to block them out. But I think I know what you're going to say. When, you could talk about it. Go ahead, Gabrielle. No, no. Talk about it. Talk when about uh, it. Isaac was <laughs> freaking out in the car. No, when, when he was talking in the car about how she said, what are we going to do with you? Because he was watching, shark eat watching him. him no, watching him, um, he was watching him walls. color on the walls. Yeah. She was like, "You watched your brother color on the walls. What are we going to do with you?" Right. And Isaac was like, "I think you should just get rid of Lincoln." Oh no, because when they were in a restaurant, um, Lincoln kept saying, uh, "You're going to have a boy. I'm a genius. I know that you're going to have a boy. I'm a genius." Lincoln said that. Yeah, he just kept <laughs> saying he was a genius. <laughs> no, and he did not. He did. And where where was I? Yeah, did, it was, was I not invited to that dinner? And then Isaac would, and then Caitlin's like, "What am I going to do with you?" And Isaac's like feed him to a shark oh and wow Caitlin's like i would never do that like he makes me laugh so much i would never feed him to a shark <laughs> he makes me laugh well, that's the only reason i'm not gonna yeah no i, I she said the same thing in the she car did say that. she was like you they're silly kids they, they are so, so silly funny. honestly she must be a good mom i don't doubt she's a good mom I she, they're very she's... loving children that have mm-hmm. emotions that she never even had it's true you know what though i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even like talking crap because like i love me a tracy car nazo i didn't know if i was allowed to say her last name yeah. on here for a second i don't know why oh my god thank you god. and Kaylin do remind me of each other a little bit because you have very much are you calling just... me fat no oh. i was gonna say you have very much the same attitude about like a lot of things like you just are like I don't really fucking care how you feel because I'm going to do what I want. You Ooh, know, that was a sick burn. But that, but that's how yeah, you are. A little bit. Like, it's like, oh, that hurt you. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I feel like I've it. gotten better as I got older. Well, no, no, you're not like that with your friends. And I don't. And Caitlin's not like that with her children. So I basically I'm like your child. So you're not right. like that with me. I'm the Isaac Gabriel Lincoln. <laughs> You guys are so cute. Right? <laughs> so you're not like that with you. us. You are a genius, Gabrielle. <laughs> you are a genius, Gabrielle. You go around Thanks. saying, puta, puta. <laughs> <laughs> but you are, but I see a lot of similarities in a lot of Why ways. Why do you think I like her? Are you pregnant? I know you are. You do defend <laughs> her. So when, when, yeah, I'm oh. very pregnant, Gabrielle. When, <laughs> when Gabrielle was a little tot, when <laughs> she was like, how old are you, 15, 16? We went to go see a psychic. Uh, yeah, we did. No, oh, I, was, I was 17. Were you? I was. Oh, okay. So we went to go see a psychic mm-hmm. and uh, Gabrielle and her friend Joelle. Shout okay. out to Joelle. Okay. Uh, Joelle's going to be on the podcast soon, too. Yes. So we went to go see the psychic in the West Village who since died. R.I.P. Raymond. Raymond. Yes. And we went, saw that coming. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. He didn't see a lot of things coming because when I went into his office, right, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> he was like, you're pregnant. And I was like, I'm sorry. He's like, you're definitely pregnant. And I was like, I 110% am not pregnant. And he's like, well, if you're not pregnant, then whoever you came here with is pregnant. And I was like, well, I sure as hell hope not since I have two, with since me. I have two <laughs> young children with me. And uh, I freaked out. We left. We left. The psychic. We left the psychic. We went to CBS. I had school the next morning. Shocker. I had high school the next morning. <laughs> As a junior, I dragged oh Gabrielle into CVS to buy pregnancy tests. Me and Joelle were like, oh my goodness, Tracy Carnazzo. For me, not for them. Tracy's been on birth control since she's like 12, too. I've been like, on birth control since mm-hmm. before I was born. Yeah, I mean, really. I am birth control. You are birth control. Uh, and we and Gabrielle was yelling in the parking lot. I was like, what if I'm pregnant? And she was like, I have high school in the morning. I need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you better take me home. I have high school in the morning. Well, so you can come in and take the test, but we're going to have to deal with this in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have class. Actually, I would have given anything to stay home from That's school. That's true. You I would were have been like, mom, I can't go to school. Where did you pregnant. go to high school? I don't even know. Um, St. Francis Prep. Yeah. That's where Tracy went. That's where Tracy went. For How funny. I didn't, I didn't last very long. Shout out to Christ the King. That's where I went. Oh, boy. Look at the oh scholar goodness. that it really... I know. That's like the, the hardcore Catholic school of Queens. I love it. That's definitely the public school of the Catholic schools. <laughs> yes, it is, but it's... Why you know, did you go there? Did you play basketball, Noel? I, you, one would think, right? <laughs> uh, no, that's... Uh, my dad liked the place when we went on the of tour. You know? I know, right? He was like, this is a school. This yeah, is a ceiling. This is a school. This, and I remember when they were gave you a tour, they like inflated like these pig lungs. And my uh-huh. father was like, that's the coolest thing ever. That's why you went there. Because they had a science class. I went class. there, yeah. Did you ever do that so in class? Funny. I did it. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. You know, I dissected like... Uh, you know gross things gabrielle's gonna have to do that in anatomy physiology tell us i'm i'm either gonna dissect a cat okay or a rabbit i think oh i'm so allergic to both of those things i mean i'm very allergic to cats but i wouldn't want to i don't think i would want to 
I don't think I have a choice, but. Yeah. I mean, you could just say you're a vegan and you're not doing it. I'll just say I'm allergic. I mean, they're going to make you eat it, Noelle. (laughs) (laughs) It's already dead. But I think that you could say, like, in high school, so many people would be like, this is against my morals. I know. I was like, I can't wait to dissect all the frogs with my tongue. This is what I'm saying. I would be, like, pushing you out of the way to get. I stayed home that day. Well, you're an I dissected the earthworm like it was my job. Oh, I love that one. Me too. I dissected an earthworm. I dissected a cow eyeball, a frog. Uh, guinea yeah. pig. No, I, I couldn't even pig. watch the dissection of the sheep's eye. Yeah, well, you're cat. a little pussy. Yeah, you're a little pussy girl. I was like, oh, this is not going to We're going to do that pussy, next pussy, pussy, next pussy. podcast. We're going to dissect something. We're not going to tell you. We're just going to bring you in. And it's, we, you're going to be mid dissection. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll Denise s- will come up with it. We'll idea. see. <laughs> no one's friends at Denise will. Janelle and Barb was kind of boring this episode they didn't argue so it was boring. you know janelle was actually i don't even like her she was on really kind of good behavior yeah. and i yeah. felt like david was egging her on to be like yes. crazy what do you david mean it totally was like uh she was pretty like i like she had a little moment with barbara barbara was saying she was getting fat on the phone oh yeah that was cute and janelle was, cute. was laughing it was really cute and then they were on the phone she again. was like i can't even look at myself in the mirror yeah. i'm so goddamn fat it and was I'm like, actually a really cute little like conversation me. it's not something you see often between right them. like a little and then they're in the living room and she's talking to her on the phone and Janelle's kind of being lighthearted about yes. things. And uh, David just keeps like egging on. David's getting like, we'll involved. meet her at Costco. Right. Yeah. And then he's like, um, you can tell he's like amping Janelle mm-hmm. up. And then he's like, you don't need to talk to her. Like, I'll be the mediator. And it's like, you can tell how much he's trying to isolate Janelle from everyone. Do you think the producers encourage that? I don't know. But he honestly... He's the mediator for everyone, like for Nathan and her. What now between Barbara and yeah, her? He's very like, controlling. He he's doesn't very want her to speak to anyone. See, I'm controlling, but I don't want to speak to anyone either. You are <laughs> very controlling, but you're not like a David. You're no not way. a David controlling. My beard is not that crazy. No, no, your jowls are not that crazy. Oh my God. Do you know what he reminds me of? A beaver. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I don't know who's going to get this reference. You might not get this, Gabrielle, but let's see if we do. Okay. The Muppets. Okay. Do you remember Sweetums? Fuck a Sweetums. Okay. Have you ever seen the Frog Prince? The Jim Henson's the Frog Prince. Yes. Where Kermit is the Frog yes. Prince. Do you remember the big monster with the big lips, and his name is Sweetums? Yes. And they yes. sing the song to him. Yep. Sweetums, yep. lay your ugly head You're right. down upon your precious <laughs> bed. Right. Okay. Yes. Tell I didn't me. know that that was his name. Come on. I know everyone's name. He does look like a Sweetum. He does look like a We're gonna, You know what? Listen. So, Noelle, you're going to be posting the video of Matt jumping yes. on the things. Gabrielle, your picture is uh, to post is going to be Sweetums. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And also, you know, Bethany Frankel from yeah. uh, Real Housewives of New York, Skinny yeah. Girl brand, when she was pregnant, because she has big jowls to begin with. She does. When she, she does. was pregnant, they could have, like, hit you from across the room. Google it. That looks like David post Cheeks. it post yep. it post sweetums yep, post da- post bethany post everyone she got injections botox i believe in her jaw yeah uh, but that wouldn't have made him bigger no those no it, made, no it made it thinner oh yeah yeah it made them not as prominent yeah, she looks great now. all right so episode four we see jeremy and his fiance broke up that's his what, fiance, she was yes. cute i mean he's hot though okay she was cute but she looked like a little trashy and not not southern trashy how like not like trailer park trashy right she looked trashy like almost like she was from queens <laughs> sure <laughs> right sure. she looked like almost like an italian from queens yeah I like agree. she was gonna key his car yes i love it if she could be friends with us though. so the, what was her name i don't know brooke okay. oh wow so word on the street is that they broke up. Was, according to Jeremy, they broke up because uh, she found a conversation that Jeremy had with Leah for 20 minutes, for 21 minutes. But I mean, they were obviously not getting back together. They were talking about, you know, the girls in school or whatever. Right. And I found an article. She says that. But Gabrielle says this. Gabrielle found an article saying something quite different. Gabrielle, why don't you talk to us about it? I found an article on the Hollywood gossip. I don't know how legit it is. Right. But in said well, it's Hollywood gossip. It's pretty legit, Gabrielle. (laughs) (laughs) They were talking. The article was about uh, the producer JC and his relationship with Kale. Who's JC? Which one is that? Do you know? He's the producer that is always with Kale. Like the white guy. She doesn't do white guys. I think I think he's Spanish. JC Corva. I don't know. But okay. JC Chazé. Yeah. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) So the article was about their their 
possible relationship. And then as I read the article, mm-hmm. it came out that Jeremy and his and his fiance broke up because apparently Jeremy cheated on her with a producer from the show. Oh man, hmm. that's I don't know if they that's all seem pretty involved with these producers, huh? Well, I mean, could you imagine? Having someone, sh- I mean, every day, it's not every day of their life, but every day that they film, they're spending the entire day with the producer right. and sure. the producer is giving them direction and the produ- like, that's who they're having in their house. I mean, Farrah clearly got very close to the producers when she got them a porter potty and then punched the other one in the face. See, but I, I like that. <laughs> I like that like they're that. not allowed to use her bathroom. I'm so about that. No, life. I like that too, but I, nobody think that- uses my bathroom. <sighs> no, well, this is a different. Situation. I would let you poop Noelle, in my bathroom. you're not Farrah. Thank you so much. Please don't, please don't try to be like Farrah, Noelle. Noelle <laughs> wishes she was like Farrah. I do wish I was Farrah. I mean, I don't wish that I looked like I had a diaper, and I don't wish that I had a child, but I wish that I was like Farrah. <laughs> like that's she's got a lot part. more money because ever, and she's got, she owns a frozen yogurt place. I spent a fortune on frozen yogurt. Why don't you just get week? a frozen yogurt machine? Yeah, you should. I mean, I have one, but I feel like it's not No, the like same. a real one. Like a soft serve. Oh, I wish. All right, so we'll see. Your birthday's thing coming up. That, that you can buy? We, of course. Why not? You can get a restaurant it. supply store. I'm sure there's a, a yogurt place going out of business you that, that you could guys? buy. You hear that? Imagine your electric bill is like $500 a day because, because it's like, well, Matt, yogurt. I'm running the frozen yogurt machine. I would make pistachio soft serve frozen I was, yogurt I was going to ask you a flavor day. because if you have a machine, you can only do one at a time. Pistachio. People would call in advance and be like, hey, yeah. Noel, what flavor do you have today? <laughs> But see, I want pistachio regular. Like, I don't want yogurt pistachio. I feel like yogurt pistachio is very phony baloney. Okay. I like, like, a Carvel soft serve pistachio. That's my favorite pistachio like on Earth. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I do like pink berry. One time I had Eddie's Sweet Chop with Tracy. Mm. Um, That's a famous... Uh, Ice cream place here in in Forest Hills, Queens, that uh, Lauren Mills yes. is a big fan of. Yes, Lauren Mills is a big fan. Hey, Lauren. Hello. Um, um, Eddie's Sweet Shop is delicious. They make homemade ice cream there. And um, I am a cheese fanatic. You would never think somebody like me could be lactose intolerant, right. but I cannot have any liquid dairy. Mm-hmm. I had a chocolate milkshake. Let's just say Tracy had it blow so Oh, many I do lights. remember. Do you remember that? that? I will yes. never forget. But I'll tell that. you why. Eddie's Sweet Shop is handmade ice cream and it has a very high fat content. I will never forget that. Yeah, I, I do. Remember. I had acid coming out of me. Right. Like, and then afterwards, I remember we went to Lindenwood and you guys made me flash some guy my V. I'm not going to say who the guy was on here because he's like married with a kid now. I know who it was. But <laughs> I don't. We'll tell you after. Yeah. He is somebody who I found attractive for a minute. But no, well, you found everyone attractive for a minute. I, okay. I didn't. Tracy wanted me to find everyone attractive for a minute. So there are my many My friend people. likes you. That was yeah. my my uh, famous line. I used to stop the car. Or I, I stuck a mean cock. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to tell people also. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Um, so... Hi, mom. All right. <laughs> All right. So Jeremy obviously broke up with Brooke. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Javi finds out that Kaylin's pregnant. Yes. Talk yes. about it. Okay. She gets a kind of like a restraining order. Um, I don't remember. Do, Noelle, do you remember uh, the exact name of it? Uh, so, uh, order of protection. No, it was something weird, like something of abuse, something for abuse. I'm not sure what it um, what it was. I don't even think he showed up at the house either. I think that he just threatened to show up at the house. Yeah, and she, I think she, honestly, I think Kale was like way out of line. I don't think that that was necessary. She wants to be the victim. She has a thing where I think that she needs the attention or needs people to love her. I really don't know what Yeah, her it was something is. like that protection for harassment mm-hmm. or like something or weird. Or protection of abuse or something. Yeah, protection of abuse, yes. It's like, did you really need to do that? Like, I, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, she... <sighs> It's like I kind of get it on one hand, but like on the other hand, like you're on TV. He's not going to do anything. I think she just needed to prove a point. And I think she did say that actually Mm -hmm. in the in the next episode. She said, like, now at least he's going to take me seriously. So that was really important to her. Uh, But Javi finds out that she's pregnant and she he flips out. He flips out justifiably. so. So he wants to know everything. I think he would react how we would the three of us would have reacted. I agree. Like, we would be like, Kaylin, pick up right now. Kaylin, pick up right now. We need to know. And that's basically what happened. And he's enraged. And I think that he's also upset because they got divorced in something like September. And she was pregnant in, like, October. And he found out that the guy... <laughs> what, no that- 
Right, and he said that the guy that Kaylin said that they they were just friends, and right. he walked in you know, on them. He apparently. walked in on them. Apparently, that's so awkward. Also, she talks about her baby daddy like they're BFF. She's like, no, she we're does. really good friends and we're on good terms. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, on the other hand, she's like, he just doesn't want to his right. horse to know about me like so what is it Kaylin? also if you were guys were such good friends and you're on such good terms why does he want nothing to do with this child right. didn't he That's sign over awful. the rights yeah, yeah and he, he also um like because he said that she trapped him and he went back to his girlfriend of like 12 years or something yeah it was a weird situation she's a wacko like she honestly wacko. this is proving more than ever that she's a wackadoo i agree do you have any breaking news over there did you get it from the basement um let's see the terms of order means maroquin is not allowed within a hundred yards that's of right Lowry. for a yeah. year for an entire year they agree. really yes yeah, only they when on the yeah only when uh sh- they pick up uh the drop baby off yeah pick up. pick up and drop off and they can they can have communication but it can only be about lincoln she gave birth to her third child a son on saturday blah 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 her baby daddy's name is chris lopez sure it is yeah, who cares? We're no one sure. cares. Uh, so David proposes to Janelle. Yes, on a mountain. Okay, somewhere. First of I'm all, sure. how many minutes after she gave birth I did was she go just on vacation? The baby mm-hmm. like slid out and she mm-hmm. went on vacation. She was like, "Can you guys actually take the baby home from the hospital? Because I'm actually going on vacation." And she was telling Barbara like she was going to go away, and Barbara's like, "You're just going to give birth." And well, she's like, the she, baby shower. She was saying no. Yeah. She was saying she was going to go on big vacation. But it's like, I can't go on vacation because you never do. It's like, why are you so mean? She's so mean. But also so here. Mean. Okay. So this is what I've discovered by watching this episode. If you're going to have a lot of kids, right? Have them with different fathers. Because when you want to go away, there are so many options for babysitting, right? Mm-hmm. So she explained after she got back from her engagement, I think it was in episode five. She explained to Barbara that um, the Kaiser... Little Kaiser, the little role. Kaiser Roll, adorable. Kaiser Roll was with uh, Nathan's mom. Mm-hmm. Ensley was with David's mom, right? And Jace was with the only person who's ever had custody of him, Barbara, who he beats up now. Right? He's a sociopath. He's a so. crazy He's person. Such a sociopath. But you know what? Honestly, it kind of worked out for their vacation that they have so many options. Right. It's really nice. Listen, I mean, it works. So listen, if she had three kids with one father. And she told David's mom to take three kids. David's mom probably be like, I can't deal with three children. I would be like, never. And one of them's a newborn. Right. But you see what I'm saying? You spread it out. Mm-hmm. Spread the I feel love. like you shouldn't leave your baby when they're like five days old, though. Like, isn't she? Bre- oh, no, she's not breastfeeding. Okay. So you feel like she shouldn't leave her baby at five days old. But she left her oldest son forever. That's true. So maybe she doesn't feel like that. You're right. You're she right. doesn't really, really care. David proposed. Was anyone overwhelmed? Like, <sighs> honestly, I I was. He cried. Half during that yawn. And she my was like, "Oh my god, was I'm so, so much surprised. better." It was ridiculous. I was so over it. Yeah, uh, I was really kind of. They also got their house delivered. Okay, oh, Tracy, you have to. Tell All right, me. so you see a little bit more in episode five of this, but <sighs> okay. So basically, Gab- Gabriel wants to know what I it means to, know to get your means. house delivered. So now uh, it's called a modular home. And Noel, I do know a little mm-hmm. bit about this. Tracy knows a lot about the South, let's say. Right. Um, Tracy has, he, she's dated a few guys from the South. A few. One, um, two, three. That ha- you know, yeah. that um, have some long hair. Right. Maybe a need, a need of a shower or right. two. Oh, whatever. You know. You have um, no creativity. So I don't have creativity <laughs> in that department. Um, and they um, they have these houses. These are makeshift houses to me. I don't really know. They They're have magical. worse. To be honest with you, they have a lot worse houses than I Janelle's want house. Janelle's house is kind of pretty. It's kind of cool. I, so I did like the it, floor in her kitchen so her much. Her mother loved the floor too, oh, Barbara. Loved 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 it. It. You know I what? It looked floor. like Billy Randolph's wall. Remember Billy in yeah. South, South I do South remember. Carolina? Of course I remember Billy. Oh, shout out, Billy. We love you. Billy had just had kidney stones. I hope you feel better, Oh, my Billy. God. I know. Oh, yeah. I know. Poor thing. Um, so yeah, no, it was, it was cool. It was a very cool house, but here's a modular home is like, you ever drive on the highway and it says wide load and then there's a truck carrying part of a house. No. Yes. That's literally what it is. So basically it's, um, it's a prefabricated home. So it's been built on a different premise and then they put it on a flatbed truck. Right. And it takes up like two lanes of traffic and it is slid onto the land. 
prefabricated. A lot of times the inside isn't done and the finishes aren't put on because, you know, it's like your chandelier is going to fall off the ceiling on the truck. Uh, but it's slid on, but it has no foundation. I have no words. It has no foundation. So it's, it's, it's a trailer. It's the biggest, nicest trailer you'll ever see. And it, listen, a lot of these trailers are much, So they have no basement. It's a lot no of bedrooms. Basement. I mean, no unless basement. you dig a hole. <laughs> they have a sick. lot of bedrooms, though. It's they like do have a lot. Of, or something? They have a few bedrooms, but you saw the attic wasn't finished. Right. So they were going to convert the attic into more bedrooms. Right. I mean, they have so many children that it's just like ridiculous so at this children. point. Right. It was very spacious. It was super spacious when they delivered it. But it also, again, it wasn't done. No. Right. But why couldn't you just build a house? I no idea. Why wouldn't you want a house with some kind of foundation? I mean, she kept saying that they were going to build a house, too. No, she kept saying, we can't wait till our house gets delivered. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm saying, like, before. Land. I got my land. Land, 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 <laughs> land. I, I just, when I was, when I, she's like, oh, the house got delivered today. I was like, <laughs> Gabrielle's like, like, UPS? Like, via UPS? Via the post office? Like, what's going, how big is this house? What's going on here? Did anyone read her book? Janelle's book? No, I've only out. read Farah's book. What's it I called? I haven't read anybody's books. Um, I'm looking for some excerpts that I saw on Reddit. It was like she is honestly really delusional. She you was know? basically yeah. Like Why? it's like she just remembers things completely different how they happened. I mean, she was basically saying like, um, that like she didn't know what she was doing. That Barbara tricked her into giving Jace up, and she would never not want to be you his were on mother. And, joke, and it's Janelle. like. No, remember when you just, like, would go out every night and leave him home? She would be like, I would never not take care of my child. And it's like, what? Maybe now looking back, she feels like that. But she doesn't. Right. I think she, rem she definitely just remembers wrong. She remembers things the way that she wants to remember them. Yeah, that's what happens with a lot of these girls. I don't blame it. She should just watch. See, the difference between her and and people like us is that she could just rewatch the episodes of her right. neglecting her children. You know, if I neglected my children, I just have to take someone's word for it. Right. What's the difference? Uh, so Aubrey goes to the father-daughter dance with Cole. That was odd. To Wait, me. so who went to the father-daughter dance with Randy? The uh, cousin. Was it the? It was Aubrey's cousin. Okay, so it's it's Chelsea's sister's kid. That's Chelsea's sister. The girl that was there. I thought yeah. that I wasn't was her sure. daughter. I wasn't sure. I thought that was one of like Chelsea's friends. No, it I'm came so up um, Chelsea's. No, I think it came up Aubrey's cousin. I'm yeah, pretty sure. I'm not. I'm. But that was like a. So I guess she doesn't sketchy. have a dad either. No, I guess not. That's a theme on this what show. What else is new? Right? Cole. Can we talk about Cole? Oh, Creepy. He creeps me out to no end. I have been saying this for years. Where have you been? I just, I, I see him on the show and I hear his voice and I'm like, people he is the People love creepiest. him. Like, people will not listen to us because this is our opinion, just so you know. Really? Like, people are obsessed with Cole. Oh, Why? I don't. I don't know. I guess because, you know, he's the lesser of all the evils. I don't know. Like, oh, Cole is so great. This, I, he's not at all. He's creepy as fuck is what so he creepy. is. He creeps yeah. me the hell out. Okay, so I'll tell you this. I think that he's a nice dad, and mm -hmm. I think he's a nice stepdad, and mm -hmm. I think that uh, Chelsea's a good mom, mm -hmm. but I don't love what's going on here with the baby. And I think it's clearly affecting Aubrey greatly. And I, how yes. she says that it, um, she doesn't want it to take away from Cole's experience. Oh, I know. I'm like, are you Listen, kidding? here's the deal, right. right? So Cole is in this. Adam is clearly out of the picture. Cole is in this. Cole's her dad, right? Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. Everyone yes. would agree with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's uh, start calling Cole Daddy Cole or whatever it is because the baby's going to start calling Cole Daddy. Right. And we got to all be on the same page. Right. And Cole should start saying we have two children. Right. And we are all a family. And I am not, because, you know, she says something like, oh, the baby smiles more when Cole holds her. And not she's like, well, that's right. her daddy. Right. And I was like, ooh, daggers in my heart. Daggers in my heart. We are all a family. Yep. And, you know, that's Daddy Cole. Yeah, and, you know, it's funny because Chelsea always said she didn't want Aubrey to feel excluded from things. But she's making she's her. She's excluding, excluding her. her. And then she's like, you know, uh, I think they definitely included that part, the producers did, on purpose when okay. they were like, uh, when she was like, oh, I just wanted a baby. And Aubrey's like, you have me. Right. And she's like, no, right. like a little baby. Yep. And it's like, you have to be more careful because she's yep. clearly acting out. And then I felt, oh, my God, I felt like I was going to cry when Aubrey said, uh, you know, I don't understand why because she was like you know you have to stop you have to start sleeping in your own bed again right. you know, she's been acting out and she said yeah but you know he's just so cute and you, you get guys to get to hang out with yeah, him. yeah you guys get to hang out and have fun but i have to go to stupid sleep or whatever like that and it's like 
it, she didn't explain it to her. She's like, well, we're the parents. Mm-hmm. It was, it was really and I didn't like the way she explained it to her. I felt like saying, well, you have to go to sleep. He, we don't have fun with him. He goes to sleep too. And he's a little tiny baby. And we used to do that with you. And she just didn't like give her the time of day. Exactly. It's like now that this baby is born, not that she doesn't care about Aubrey, but she is really backing off of Aubrey. Yeah. You know, it's suddenly Aubrey's just not a child anymore. Right. To her. I don't know. But I just, I don't like that she's making a lot of it about Cole. He, it's taking away from Cole's experience. It's like making it less enjoyable No, it doesn't Cole. matter. Cole has two kids. Yeah. Cole has two kids, and that's the bottom line. Right. And if you don't like it, this is what you signed up for. Agreed. And you treat Aubrey the same way you treat Watson. And it seems to be bothering Chelsea more than Cole, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I yeah. think it's a little bit weird. But he Chelsea, is creepy. Yeah, it's like Chelsea's almost like a little bit like jealous of like yeah aubrey yes i don't know she's it's very weird she is acting weird towards aubrey <sighs> like she doesn't it. want her anymore i don't love I it think aubrey's so cute maybe she's gonna boy. get rid of her she's with so lincoln cute. maybe maybe and maybe she's and gonna adam feed her to the sharks on honest, meth? adam is on meth adam's Apparently. on meth. methamphetamines uh, okay she okay she said methamphetamines and amphetamines i don't know the difference i don't know what that means we're not we're not really i'm like i think advil like i don't know what this means yeah i don't get it but all i know is it's not good my doctor told me today to take folic acid (laughs) (laughs) that's a true story really yeah he told me to take it you don't take anything he told me to take folic acid i'm supposed to take it but i don't thank you for clarifying and being honest (laughs) thank you i have an honest day this is good this is safe place uh i have a pill case I have a cra- Noelle just threw her microphone across the room. I why? Did. Why'd you do that? Were you I mad? Did. I got so mad at Gabrielle for not taking a full. <laughs> <laughs> I take a pill case of crazy vitamins because I'm trying to cure myself. Uh, has it worked? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Oh God! Uh, so Leah sells this lip shit. What is it called? Lip sense. Lip sense? I can't. Why? Does it scented? I don't know. I I, no, no like sense, like any S C N S E. I like. Like it, she it makes put it sense. On at the gym. Yeah. She tried it on at the gym. Oh God! And like put, I would ever touch black. my face in the gym after no. touching equipment. And then she put black and pink on. Well, she was hand. just showing that it doesn't smudge. Look, nothing. That was like a literally an infomercial I love, within. I love how the woman's like, and you can show the world you could have your own business. Oh it's my like, God, that woman was rem- my mother. Oh, that's what I was just gonna say. That rem- so Noelle's mom used to sell Zango juice. I and think we talked did. about this on the last podcast. Oh, yes. oh my God, this yes. will never. We'll always. It'll talk never about this. get old. Well, always her mother sold any kind of uh, what's it called direct marketing product? Yes, ever. I'm surprised your mother isn't selling lip sense. Does your mother know about lip sense? No, but I'm sure she will too. That and she's gonna know about all of this stuff. Oh my god! So it reminds Ooh, me row. they said all of the right things to to Leah, and it was so funny. It was so easy. It was so easy to sell. I was like, she is going to be joining a cult oh, shortly. It was so yep. easy. she was like, yeah. And just think about it with your following, how great you would do. Okay, honestly, I would tell you the truth. Like, that's a great... Like, if I had that kind of following, I would definitely Mm -hmm. do direct marketing because you can make, like, bajillions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Listen, you don't think I want to buy a lip sense just so I could be like, hey, Leah, my order's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's true. I wonder if she just has someone handle that. No way. She handles it. I think they all handle their own. Yeah. Okay, let's... We should try that. You should order a lip sense. Let's do it. Do it for the podcast. Do it for the pod. Let's do it. Um... I got super upset about this episode. This is episode five that we're talking about. Okay. Allie said that she was too tired to go to tumbling. Oh, my God. And Gracie was being such a little bitch about it. Gracie's not nice. She's not mm-hmm. nice at all. And you know what? Leah's a nice mom. I know that she's a little bit crazy, but she's a nice mom and she's nice to the kids. And Corey seems like a nice dad. Miranda seems nice. Jeremy. Eh, I'm not really thrilled with Jeremy, but he has nothing to do with the yeah, twins. He's so hot. He's just kind of not really that nice. But uh, <laughs> why is Gracie so mean? Do you she, think that she, she is really mean? She, because you know, she's jealous. She's jealous. I was of, gonna say she, Allie gets a lot of attention because of her illness. So maybe right. she she gets. Jealous I mean, Gracie's not even her name. She's like, why is everybody calling me something that's not even my real Wait, name? Wait, did you guys <laughs> take note? I'm pretty sure that she said this in the car um, when she said, "Allie, baby, well, you know, why don't you want to go to tumbling?" I'm pretty sure Gracie said, "I'm Allie, baby." Really? I think she did. We're gonna have to play back. Really? But I'm Ooh, sure she did. that's interesting. Very interesting. Gabrielle, maybe you could videotape that clip and put it on our Instagram. I think I'm going to. Oh, man. Uh, Kaylin goes to court. That was boring. <sighs> boring. Javi just agreed. Javi's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. You're an idiot. Right. And Kaylin's like, yeah, well, 
I'm going to do it anyway. Right. And he's, he's like, like, yeah, I just, does. I just it's said, fine. yeah. And she's yeah. like, yeah, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Right. And he's like, okay, bye. Right. Nobody you know cares. What, you know what really bothered me? Tell me. Kaylin was driving home without a seatbelt on FaceTime. Always. She's always on FaceTime driving. I hate FaceTime. I, I don't even have it. Thank God I have an Android because I don't even have FaceTime. Honestly, it's because you have no money because you're a poor person. Here's the thing. I'm not a poor person because I <laughs> actually... Gabrielle just grabbed her breast. <laughs> I'm actually really <laughs> cool, guys. I'm really not even a poor person. Like, I'm not a poor person. So why do, you, why do you have an Android? What's wrong with you? Because I hate Apple. Why? I don't what have they a do Mac to you? either. What they do to you? I just don't want it. I don't like it. Why? Because like you know it's better? I'm all about the Androids and the Windows. and Yeah, I'm, go ahead. You and your AOL mail. Fuck <laughs> Mac. The girl OZP. The girl OZP at AOL.com if you need to get in touch with it. For life. Oh yeah, you remember you knew that Gabrielle. You saw you remember you saw that somewhere, and you were like, "Oh, Noel, Thug Girl." Imagine. Yes, where did I see that? I don't remember. Where, yeah, I don't even remember why that came up. Uh, I don't Maybe know. I would, oh, I was giving you my Facebook info. Yes, <laughs> yes, you were, and I was like, "Thug Girl." Oh, that's right. When I was <laughs> logged into your Facebook, yeah, she slid into my DMs. Oh, I did. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I found so much dirt on you when I went into your <laughs> Facebook. So exciting. Yeah. I have to tell you. Know you know me, snooping. Cause, yeah, because there's secrets between us. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm like, <laughs> you can look inside of any part of me, Tracy. I mean, I hide nothing I've, from you. I've looked. She uh, has looked. We were actually telling Gabrielle that the other day. Oh, yes. that I've been in all your orifices? You have. I have. You've given me the Heimlich so many times in public. <laughs> really? well, even the last time when we went away on her comedy tour, um, I swallowed an Altoid and it was <gasps> oh right God. here. Okay, so wait, can I t- this story <laughs> is so funny. So we went, uh, I, I was traveling for comedy. I took Noelle along. We, we went together. It was so much fun. And we were in Greenville, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And we met up with my aunt and her friend. And it was lovely. And we had uh, some lunch in this diner. It Regatta was, pancakes. Oh, yeah. It was, it was really, honestly, Yum. like so much fun. Really nice place. And we went outside. We were waiting for my aunt and her friend. And Noelle decided that she was going to fire an Altoid into her mouth. I did. <laughs> and she fired it down. And she kind of choked on it. <laughs> but the funniest part was, like, involuntarily, like, her eyes watered because she was choking. And then she just started crying because she got so nervous because she was choking. <laughs> That she was crying hysterically, <laughs> but she was okay, like, even after she was okay, just like from the shock of it. Right. And my aunt and her friend walked out and Noel's just crying hysterically. That's and I'm like, no, she's fine. No, she's totally fine. She's swallowing an Altoid. And they were know? like, wait, what happened? And I was like, no, she's fine. And they're like, she's crying hysterically. And I'm like, do, it like, don't mind her here in my throat hole. And I'm like, Tracy, it, if I touch her, I could feel but it. But it was burning you. Yes. Because it was an Altoid. And it was like in my <laughs> sinus cavity. It was so bad. Meanwhile, I do. I have a habit of crying when I get nervous or the shock. Yeah. Of things. Welcome to my life. <laughs> the other day I was in my kitchen and I was with Denise and we I was making mashed potatoes mm. and, you know, stirring them up, whipping them up. And I shut the burner off. It had been off for like you know a minute two minutes uh-huh. and i and i look deep at it and i'm like oh i wonder if it needs salt i wonder if what it needs i mentioned some spinach with it mm-hmm. i was like ready for these so i go and i taste it and it pops like it boils oh, okay. and it shoots in my eye and on my <laughs> eyelid <laughs> Denise will tell you that I cry <laughs> when I tell you I cry tears and I'm laughing, crying, like laughing, laughing, crying. And she's like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. It's just Denise, like my iron's really low and I'm PMSing <laughs> and this fucking burns Denise. It's like, it's like fucking magma Potatoes on my are eye. so hot. It They're was so like hot. lava on my eye, guys. They it hurts so bad. Very well. What can we, we could use potatoes for like insulation for housing. Yeah. Janelle yeah, could use it for we her. Could. Janelle could use some mashed potatoes for her first floor. Yes, yeah, she could. <laughs> <laughs> she could build a base so, yeah, mashed guy, I almost lost the eye to potatoes. What are these mashed day. potatoes doing in the walls, Janelle? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, They're really good insulation. Is Barbara David's from older. Boston? <laughs> yeah, no, she's from Walmart. She's, gotta be. she's, <laughs> she's from just Walmart. From Walmart. She's like a butcher, right? She works at the deli. Oh deli. man, I got to tell you, I'm going to North Carolina. Uh, I'll be there Friday night. Yes, and um, I'll be there actually Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm-hmm. I wish I'm going to Asheville, and I wish I was going a little bit towards the coast because that's where they live. 
and I'm so gonna visit sad. her. I wish I was I gonna be with you. This I is like know. the first road trip I'm not I'm going, going alone. Going on oh with my Tracy. god! Oh, so sad. No one really cares about this. Okay, um, <laughs> let's let's just close out uh, talking about uh, Brianna and Devin. Devin, who the hell is that? Oh, her baby daddy. Who the hell is that? Yeah, are you he, kidding? Good, good job is, being the host of Teen Mom Trash Talk. His name is spelled Devoin or whatever. It's like I'm just not used to it being pronounced that it's way. It's awful. Devon, not Devin. It it's is. Devon. He, he's just like I he doesn't just, hug his child. He calls her shorty. He brought child. her a stuffed animal in a Home Depot plastic bag. Yeah, uh-huh. I noticed. The did Home you Depot notice plastic that? Plastic I was yeah. like, why did he get her? What is it in a Home Depot plastic bag? Right. Um, but I felt really bad for the daughter, um, Nova. I feel like she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. She is. So she's having an identity crisis right now. She knows that she's different. Her skin oh, color. Shout her out hair. to the shade from Brianna. White girls can't even keep their hair in a braid. Bitch, I keep and my hair in a my braid. My hair can oh, be wow. in a braid. Oh, wow. Like, I have naps for days. They were trying to make her feel better. No, no, I know. I no really she was telling her sister. She wasn't even telling her daughter. It's like, no, but she was Brianna. trying to make her feel better. I, I felt bad, too. It's like she wants to feel what it feels like to have long hair. Like, they're not. There's just something but Brianna lacking. was angry about it. She didn't react the right way. She's yeah, like, but they're, she's they're, like they're, Nova, when I wash her hair, where is it down yeah, to? She was definitely not nice to her about no. it. Yeah, she, was she wasn't nice. Like, to instead of saying like you're beautiful it. the way you right. are, like she was like Nova, right? No. Or like, hey, let's brush out your hair tonight, and you right. can see how long it is. Right. I'll yeah. I'll, I'll straighten, straighten your it. hair for you. Why not? Why can't they just get the girl's hair straightened for her once so she can right. just so see, she, it. see it? I, I, I looked on Instagram and they did straighten her hair. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, I wanted a perm when I was little. And guess what I did when I was 14 years got a old? Perm. I got a, got perm, a perm and they burnt the shit out of my roots. And I had scabs in my head and I was bleeding. And I had the frizziest hair in the world for two years. But you know what? You're here. I got a perm. You're here. And you also have great hair. You haven't Thank dyed you your so hair much. in years. I haven't dyed my hair since 2007. Yes, yeah, she hasn't dyed her hair in forever. It's not a big Go deal. Girl. It's not a big deal. I just have beautiful flowing locks. <laughs> <Just> uh, <laughs> 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 Gabrielle was doing my makeup last week uh-huh. and I was talking about someone else about them being so good looking. <laughs> and I said, She's that's talking about me clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, that's what happens when you're so fucking good looking that it's ridiculous. And Gabrielle thought I was talking about myself. And she <laughs> lost. <laughs> she just looked at me for like, quite a while. And I was like, I wasn't talking about me. And she's like, Oh, <laughs> I was like, I thought you were talking that about was snotty. I was like, that's what happens when you're the best looking person in the world. Meaning like this person was very snotty. I don't even like Tracy and Tracy, you are really pretty. Like, I don't even like you, but you are really pretty. You're all right. Like, like I have sitting to in, say, sitting here. especially yeah. when you have like blush on. I was thinking, okay, so you're like, <laughs> here's the thing. You're like, my, <laughs> you're my blush goals. Okay. Today I was sitting in my dining room putting on my no, Well, makeup. you're not dark enough to be her blush goals. No, no, no. I was putting on blush. <laughs> And I was thinking about when I saw you when I was going to the last comedy show of yours that I went uh-huh. to with my mother and with Matthew. Yes. And I was thinking about your striking blush that you had on. Okay. And I was trying <laughs> to mimic your look. I can get you that blush. And I needed that blush. <laughs> I'm going to get you that blush okay. for your birthday. Um, so I brought all of my and makeup products. And a frozen products. yogurt machine. Thank you. That's the problem. <laughs> I brought all of my blush to Gabrielle's house for her to do my makeup the other day uh, for a photo shoot that I was doing. Mm. And she could not believe the colors that I use on my skin. She said that I uh, I use too dark of a makeup. Yes. And uh, so I was using bronzer as a setting powder. Mm-hmm. I asked her That's to. That's a true story. Mm-hmm. And she's, she's like, where should I? I was like, just put it all over my face. She's like, this is bronzer, my friend. I gave her the biggest brush in the world that covers your whole head. Really? In like one swipe. She was shocked and appalled. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, hey, do you want to use my blush? Right. And I handed it over. And it was like a pink highlighter. Oh, Tracy wears the pinkest blush ever. And then I said, oh, do you want a little highlight on your cheek? She goes, oh, no, that's too much. I love highlighter. <laughs> She's like, no, nope, highlight is too much. She goes, not only is this hot pink, but it is shimmery. <laughs> it was shimmery. I, it's so 80s. I love it. Listen, I love it. It's like she, rouge. And I make her put it like right under my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> She's very good. Gabrielle is a professional makeup artist, by the way. <laughs> and you could see her stuff. What is it? Uh, what's your Instagram for your? Glam by Gab X. Yeah, I'm a terrible friend. She, I didn't even follow that page. I didn't even know that existed. Are you kidding me? No, and you're awesome. I've she's seen an amazing, ma- honestly, she's yeah. an amazing no, makeup she really artist. Is. She uh, cannot handle the things that I make her do to my face. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, Tracy, I don't approve of this. I'm but bringing all it. my makeup here next week. You should, but let me tell yeah. you, Gabrielle, how does it come out? 
listen, it comes out good. There's a method to your madness. There you is. know your face. That's what it is. I know my fudge. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you make me a little too pale. You know what I mean? Like I need to. I need a little vibrancy. I don't really care life. about color. Sometimes I just really. I, I, you are my feet. blush goals. You are. Sometimes you need to set your foundation with bronzer. I listen, just. I put highlighter all over my face. Oh, all I the do time. the opposite. I love highlight. I want to look like the shiniest person. You ever. are the shiniest person. I Honestly, am. Noel. You're the stupidest person I've ever met. I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This has been episode five. Uh, let's give a few shout outs. Noel, where can we find you on Instagram, Twitter? You can find me on Instagram, Noe underscore eight one zero. Okay. And Noel Winters on Facebook. Okay. Um, That's me. Oh, yeah. Friend requests me. I don't have a page you could like. Sorry, I'm not that cool. No, you're not that cool. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, Gabrielle, where can we find you? I'm on Instagram at Gabrielle Nicole X, Twitter at Gab Nicole X, and Facebook Gabrielle Nicole for Gala. That's amazing. Uh, guys, we're going to shout out Rachel Nope one more time from the Teen Mom uh, Unscripted Fix. Is that it? Teen, Teen Mom, Mom Fix Unscripted. Fix Unscripted. So we're a link to their group. Make sure you join their group. Make sure you they join. They have the best gossip ever. They really do, they though. They so much dirt that I, I, I don't even know it. It's like they're full-time gossip diggers. They are in the comments. That's the best part about the page is all the comments. Oh, my God. Are. They're so snarky. Because there's I like 11,000 people in that group. Thank you so much, Rachel, for uh, connecting us. It's been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> So funny. And uh, actually, make sure that you follow us on Facebook, too. Uh, Teen Mom Trash Talk. Join Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk. That's our discussion group. And uh, you could follow me. I'm going to be in North Carolina for the Laugh Your Asheville Festival. Uh, I'll be there on Friday. I have the early show at 8 o'clock. And then I have the late show at 1030. And I'll also be, uh, yeah, I'll be traveling. I'll be at the Funny Bone in Rich, uh, not Richmond. I'll be at the Funny Bone in Virginia Beach. Uh, awesome. Yeah. I'll be there Exciting. tomorrow night, which is Wednesday, uh, 8, 9. But uh, we're going to post this tonight. So Tracy's really funny. So I mean, I appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram at Trixie Tuzini. And you could follow me. On, why do you laugh when I say that? That's my porn it name. It makes me think of someone. <laughs> I could. <laughs> you could follow me on, on Twitter and Instagram at Trixie Tuzini, or you can like my fan page on Facebook, Tracy Carnazzo. Yes. Guys, this has been episode five. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you're listening, can you please remember to rate, review, subscribe? Yes. And, you know, just listen to our podcast and give us some feedback. We really want to hear from you guys, the we fans. We want to know what you guys want to hear. You too. know, we mention you all the time. You know, Kristen you Kennedy any... is a great follower of ours. Yes. She gives us so much feedback. We the want best. You, we want you to be like Kristen Kennedy. Please, just tell we us what you We want you to be like hear. Nicole DeNono. Come on, guys. Give us some feedback. Tell Get us involved. what you want to hear. Please. And that's all. We will read your stuff out loud for Sure you we guys. will. All right, guys. So this is episode five of Teen Mom Trash Talk, and we're signing off. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.